Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How is everybody doing today? Welcome back to another vlog or YouTube video. Welcome back, welcome back. I hope everybody is doing fantastic. And I just finished up core and cardio. Check it, 20 pack loading. But I just finished up core and cardio and it was a fantastic workout. I did 30 minutes incline treadmill. I did 100 knee raises, 100 leg raises, and 100 ab machine crunches. It was absolutely awesome because my training schedule right now is five days a week weights, one day a week cardio, and then the other one is a refurbishing day, so ice bath, whatever I need to do to really get my muscles ready. But other than that, Mike, other than that, Mike, in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I ate to get lane. This diet, guys, it's what I've been using to get shredded, so lose weight and build muscle um, to stay pretty lean year round and to really like get my body fat to exactly to where I want it while kind of having a freedom in the diet. And I'll explain more of that later. But today's video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I eat in a day to get shredded, to build muscle while losing fat. And any of you guys can try this diet as long as you put the effort in. So let's go ahead and get straight into breakfast. So with that, tip number one, guys, is I usually work out fasted. That's one of the best ways to work out. It burns a lot of calories, burns a lot of fat. Granted, it all depends on how hard you're you know, pushing in the gym, but it's scientifically proven if you work out fasted, you do burn a bit more fat than you would working out full tummy. So that's what I've been doing, and literally for me, it's been working, as well as that you wanna add your cardio in and things like that. For meal number one, I'm aiming for high protein, kind of mid fat, low carbs. So I'm not really having any kind of carbs basically with my breakfast. So here guys, we've got a good old onion, tomato, search up the benefits on these, they're absolutely amazing. And then we got roughly a cup of egg whites with three full eggs. So that is what we're eating physically, and a banana, our potassium, get your potassium in. And for our oil guys, I can't exaggerate this enough. Pause. Um, you don't wanna just be cooking with regular vegetable oil or like soybean oil. You wanna kick those things out of your diet. Some of the best oils you can consume on the daily is avocado oil, um, coconut oil, edible one, and then uh, organic extra virgin olive oil. That's kind of the wave I've been on right now. Just the virgin olive oil because it really is good for you. It's not as processed as all the other ones. That's the problem with the other ones. They're so processed and you don't really want that. So get clean, get lean, get mean. So obviously you guys know how it works to cook some eggs. With this guys, we're just gonna throw everything in. All I wanted was. Boom, give it a little mixy mixy. So be extra generous with the oil. That's why I said this meal is, that's why I said this meal is high protein, mid fat, low carb, because a lot of the fats is coming from the egg yolks and the extra virgin olive oil. Well, whenever we add the banana, there are carbs in a banana, but I, in this meal there are more fat, so. And the banana is completely optional. And complete reminder y'all, my breakfast, it kind of changes as it depends on what I'm feeling. This is a majority of what my breakfasts are looking like because I want to stay fairly lean or because I'm trying to get as lean as possible while having an enjoyable diet, if you know what I'm saying. And you guys always gotta remember, figure out ways to mix and match your, your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, because a lot you just don't wanna be like, ugh, right? You, you, you definitely wanna get creative with your diet, so you're, it's very, very enjoyable. So that's which something you gotta learn to do on your own by doing some research on good recipes, you know, things like that, because there's a healthier version of everything. There's low carb tortillas, fat-free cheese, probably don't even taste like cheese, and there's just really good things for you. Or you can get the nitty and gritty and just make it the way it's supposed to be done. You know, a lot of people, don't like sunny side up. I love sunny side up. So why aren't you making sunny side up? Because I like both. So this is another great fitness tip that I feel like a lot of people kind of always like want to know the exact answer to is how much protein a day should I go for? It depends on your fitness goal. So if you're building muscle, the rule of thumb is one to 1.5 grams of protein per pound. So you can really, you know, have maximum protein synthesis, really build some great gains. 
Um, but I think it really depends. So for me, I'm trying to build muscle and lose fat. So I want to aim for one gram to 1.5 grams per body pound. But let's say hypothetically you're 300 pounds and you want to come down to 200 uh, or you want to lose a lot of weight, I wouldn't consume 300 grams of protein a day. I would keep it around the 200 mark, keep the, the you know the carbs pretty good, the fats pretty good, um, just so you can only focus on losing weight because your goal right there is to lose weight, not to build muscle. So everything's different. But specifically building muscle, unless you're 300 trying to go to 400, I mean, that's different. But the goal with, the thing with uh, building muscle, one gram to 1.5 grams per body pound, if you're losing weight, mess around with it, see what works for you. And here is the final product, our eggs, tomato, onions, and banana. Now the macros on this is 45 to 55 grams of protein, 30 to 40 grams of fat, and about 30 grams of carbs because of the banana. But without the banana, you'd be at like 10 grams of carbs. So that is the diet right there. Now, it all depends on the egg you use and how much eggs you want, depending on your protein goal. But those are the macros for this meal specifically. Now, after cardio and core, you want to eat up. Always have your water, cha-ching. Water is extremely, extremely important, um, literally. So when making your breakfast, guys, really don't beat yourself about like, oh bro, this is four calories of you know ketchup or whatever. Add what you like, that's the thing. If you're gonna have a diet, you need to find you know, extra things, unless you're on prep. If you're on prep, then you need to go all strictly mode. But if you're just getting into it, you know, find things that you're comfortable with doing. Obviously, don't use a whole bottle of ketchup, but a few squirts, uh, sugar-free ketchup is not gonna hurt you. So, add whatever condiments you want. And again, like I said, there are healthier versions of everything, so add whatever condiments just to make it better for you, but um, you already know, the more you go by exactly the book, the better the results. So meal number one was a 10 out of 10, alhamdulillah. Now, I wanna get more uh, kind of specific about my meal and my diet plan and everything like that. So right now I'm eating like three to four meals a day and that's really, you know, what I need to eat to get lean, okay? Because the goal is getting lean. Now if your goal is losing fat or getting, you know, building muscle, you're on a huge bulk, it all varies. So one thing I can definitely give another tip on guys is getting on a diet plan and getting serious with it because when you're serious with it, when you attach emotion to what you wanna do, you get it done. So get on exactly what you wanna do and find out what you wanna do. And the first step to doing that is knowing, do I wanna lose weight? Do I wanna build muscle? Do I wanna be the Hulk? Do I wanna be Superman? You know what I'm saying? Get real specific on it and go with a diet program that matches your goals. Yo, if you ask me, I am giving out some pretty fire diet tips you know you're welcome but anyways yo yo i painted this by the way what do you think probably looks like a kajillion dollar painting you know what i'm saying what do you think i could get for this kajillion dollars i think i could let's move on to meal number two two consists of three well four ingredients we've got our potatoes aka our carb we've got our chicken breast aka our protein and for our oil or what we're going to cook all of this with some extra virgin olive oil the fourth ingredient would be whatever you want to add on top of it so salt pepper you know paprika garlic whatever now for the carbs like i said it just varies so i'll usually either go with a potato a sweet potato or white rice now let's get these babies ready for the air fryer. Let's skin the potatoes, dice them up, give them a good little wash, and then put them in the air fryer. After you do all that, make sure you wash your veggies, y'all. That is what it should look like. Now, to give it that crispy, delicious taste, we are, we are going to get our oil and just spray it just a bit. You can either mix it right in the bowl, or we can throw it in the trusty air fryer just like that and then shake it up so all the oil can get around perfectly. That still counts. So right there, then we're gonna throw it in the air fryer for 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes, depends on the crispy level that you like. Now for the chicken breast, there's obviously tons of ways you can cook it, but the way I like to do it is we're just gonna season it up and throw it right on the pan. 
Be generous, mate. Be generous with the oil. Shaboop. And goodbye. If you really want to level up your dieting, guys, I highly, highly recommend getting a food weight scale. The reason I recommend it is because whenever you're really trying to go after your fitness goals, weighing your food is super important so you know exactly how much carbs, how much protein you're intaking every single day. The thing is you don't want to eat too low of protein or too high. So after searching through a bunch of websites on Google, it's roughly 100 grams of chicken breast equals 31 grams of protein. So if my protein goal for every meal is roughly 40 to 50 grams, you really want to aim between 160 grams to 200 on the high end. So 160 grams is roughly like 45-ish, 50 grams of protein. But then when you get up to 200 grams, you're at 62 grams of protein. It really just depends on the goal you're trying to hit. So we're gonna go ahead and get our scale and throw it on grams. It's already there. So the goal is 160 to 200. 75, don't worry guys, hands are clean. 155-ish, so boom. 174. We're at 193, so what we're gonna do with the rest of this chicken is put it into the next meal. And that's why weighing it is so important because you could have easily just threw it inside of that meal, but then you might be overeating because I genuinely believe your body can't digest too much protein at one time. That's why you do it in increments. So 50 grams of protein, it's a bit high, but it is definitely doable. The air fryer is done with the crispy potatoes. We're gonna throw that in the bowl. Then we are going to throw the chicken right on top. Add your ketchup, but this looks perfect. Now you always wanna have veggies with your meals. It's just in this particular case, my family ate them all. They had fish tacos, so I have to go get some more. With weighing the chicken, I also weighed the potatoes. And before I air fried them, there were 230 grams of potatoes, which comes out to 45 to 50 grams of carbohydrates. So this entire meal comes out to 50 to 55 grams of protein, 45 to 50 grams of carbs, and five to 10 grams of fat. Now granted guys, fats are super important in your diet. So the olive oil that I'm using, extremely important. Avocados are really important. The healthy fats are the ones that you wanna include in your diet. Don't, don't have a misconception of all fats are like bad. It's not true. The healthy ones are fantastic for you. So fish fats, avocado fats. Uh, oil fats, so like, you know what I'm saying? Just all those kinds of fats, do your research on it, they are fantastic for you. Now the fats that are bad for you are the ones that are that have been deep fried for, you know, 20 minutes, etc., etc., etc. So very often I will throw an avocado in here. A majority of my diet plan is extremely lean. That was delish, alhamdulillah. So, Meal two and three are pretty pretty similar, not even gonna lie. So if I do chicken and potatoes for one, I'll probably do chicken and rice or I'll just double take it. It just really depends, but meal two and three I really enjoy, so I keep them you know, pretty similar because it works. So keep pushing it and make it better. So yeah, that's meal two and three right there. And the carbs might change a little bit on meal number three, but the protein still around the uh, 45 to 55 grams of protein mark and the fats are around 10 to 15 grams per meal next fitness tip though everybody if you're always making excuses bro it's hard to eat clean uh you know the chocolate chips are everywhere dude you need to get disciplined on your goals bro and one big tip that i have for anybody struggling that you know they'll just snack a lot Bro, don't buy it from the grocery store. Like, buy what's essential to your diet plan and put that in your house. If you're eating a diet plan and on the counter there's some cinnamon buns every single day, chances are you're gonna eat one of those cinnamon buns. But if you replace that with a fruit bowl or veggies in the fridge, then your temptation for that, you know, isn't as high because you're so focused on completing that diet plan. So whenever you're going to the grocery store, buy the stuff that you need to make your diet plan work 100% for you. And throw out the excuses of it's hard, it's hard. It's not hard, you gotta get disciplined, bro. But with discipline, you earn a cheat meal. You earn, you know, sweets and stuff like that. 
make it something you earn instead of something that you just constantly eat all the time because we all know because it's obvious that sweets and sugar that stuff's not good for you so if you really really enjoy it you know earn it by being extremely disciplined on your diet plan for a certain amount of time a lot of people um, ask about cheat meals how often should I have a cheat meal so for me personally I have a cheat meal roughly once a week and I'll replace that cheat meal with meal number four so that cheat meal can be anything and remember guys it's a cheat meal okay <laughs> not a cheat day it's a cheat meal so for that meal I'll eat whatever I want then we get back on the discipline mode and become freaking champions so like I said I think it's best to have cheat meals once a week and again it just really really depends on your goals if you're really focused on losing weight I would do it maybe once every two weeks but doing it once a week if you're really really focused and you're on point with the diet every day you'll be fantastic you'll be great so I recommend once a week depending on how hard you're going but again it's just really up to you but like I said I do replace meal number four with that cheat meal and guess what Today, we're having a cheat meal. But on the diet, the meal number four will be protein with some veggies. So really not much carbs or any fat at all, unless I'll have like beef or something, but even when I have beef, it's a lean beef. So it could be chicken and broccoli, chicken and spinach, beef, turkey, with some sort of vegetable. So it just really depends. But really the main goal of meal number four is to hit that protein goal. So again, it's just a protein and a veggie. But if I'm going to be completely honest with you, it just varies. Because some most of the times I'll just have three meals, but some days I'll have four. Just really, really depends. Um, again, just being completely honest, and, um, it just really depends on my hunger level. I don't like to force feed and not saying like, oh, like, bro, you're being like a chicken or whatever. No, that's not the case. If I'm hitting my macros with three meals, there's no need for that one. But if I do need some more food to hit that goal, then I will obviously consume it. But for today's video, for meal number four, it's going to be a cheat meal. So roughly, I eat every two to three hours. Hopefully that helps you, you know, when putting together your diet. Because, you know, every two to three hours, that's a good range between, you know, your body's digested the food from before and it's usually hungry again. In bodybuilding terms, right? For me, two to three hours works perfectly. Now let's get ready for this cheat meal. So if you do know in Texas, Texas weather decides to, you know, decides on its own when it's going to be cold, hot, snowing, you know, whatever. So fit check, fit check, fit check, we got the gray shorts with the gray tank, but it is a bit chilly outside, so I don't want to wear a muscle shot alone. So oh, we got a Gymshark jacket. Boom, I think that would look really, really good with the gray shorts. Oh, we've got this Ford sweater, which I think looks really, really good. We're gonna go with that. Oh no, I got to do the fit checks. So boom, gray shorts. That's the fit. Let me know what you guys' favorite cheat meal is, because I personally sell, I'm Arabian for the ones that don't know that, and I absolutely love Mediterranean food. Apart from that, I really enjoy a good burger, or a really, really good hefty thick steak. Mm. But let me know what you guys' go-to cheat meal is. So to start off, we got kebab with gyro meat, butter chicken, and rice for the first plate. Plate, check. And then we moved on to kebab meat again with broccoli, quesadilla, and rice. And we're gonna wash it all down with some delicious Thai. So alhamdulillah, that cheat meal was absolutely amazing. 10 out of 10 Mediterranean food. You know, now, you know what they say. Everything salty needs to come with something sweet. And you have to earn your cheat meals, or that's what we're doing all the time. So now we are at Crumble Cookie. Crumble Cookie is cookies. Now, again, you have to earn it. But till you earn it, once you earn it, eat it. Any dessert, you know, tres leches, crumble cookie, brownies, candy, anything that you want to fill your desires. But you have to earn it. Although I am a professional in the dietary system, I also am a dessert connoisseur when I earn it. So we're gonna be rating these delicious cookies one out of 10. So we have double fudge, strawberry pop tart, chocolate chip, a thick one, red velvet, and then this is like a pumpkin chocolate chip. We're gonna rate them one out of 10, let's go. So first, the red velvet. I already know it's gonna be a 10. Look at that, guys. Oh. All right, all right, presentation's good, presentation's good. Mm. 
9.5 on that one. I think definitely use a little bit more frosting. Next, the chocolate chip. Tastes exactly what it's called. Pop tart. If you're a big fan of Pop Tarts, that's a 10 for you, but for me, that's like a 5 ish. 6. Double fudge. It's going heavy on the cookies. I might as well name that one Triple Fudge. 10 out of 10. And last but not least, we got the pumpkin chocolate chip for fall. Autumn? Y'all say autumn or fall? I'll give that one the same as the Pop-Tart. If you love pumpkin, that's for you. I've never been much of a pumpkin kind of guy. But my favorite in this entire thing is definitely either the chocolate chip or the red velvet. Really good though. Those cookies were all super, super delicious, alhamdulillah. And that was the dessert for the entire cheat meal. Again, guys, so it's a cheat meal, not a cheat day. So you can have your cheat meal along with the dessert or just the cheat meal, whatever you want, but make sure to earn it. You know what your go-to dessert is. And that was the cheat meal, and that was the full day of eating. All jokes aside though, guys, um, I do wanna give you all really big tips I wanna give you guys is one, when finding your diet program, guys, find healthy options. So sugar-free ketchup, you know, sugar-free condiments, and things like that. It doesn't need to just be bland, bland, bland. You can make it taste delicious as long as you put in the effort to make it delicious. So that's number one. And number two, guys, learn to enjoy your diet program. It's there to help you, not to punish you. Remember that, guys? You know, that's what a diet plan's for. That's what a workout routine's for. It's not there to torment you. It's there to help you achieve your best self. So start really like enjoying your diet programs. Start finding what works for you because what works for me may not work for you. What works for you may not work for me. So really, really find what works for you and stick to it even if it's not the norm. Just try your best to really make your diet plan as healthy as possible. No matter what your fitness goal is, whether it's losing weight, building muscle, getting shredded, there's a diet plan out there that will really, really suit you. You just need to find it. You need to put in effort and research, do your own research, and get the knowledge that you need to figure out what works exactly for you. Now, granted, if you love the, you know, the strictness, if you love the, you know, this is exactly what you need to eat to achieve this goal in the best amount of time, by all means, go for it. It works fantastically. But if you like a little bit of leniency, do your research, find out the healthier options of all foods, because there's literally healthier options for all foods except probably butter, you know what I mean? Uh, go out there, go and do your research, figure it out, and put it on the diet program. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm super, super excited to announce that I am now starting Fidella Fit. So as you guys do know, along with you know all the content that I make, you know the modeling, the fitness, I do genuinely enjoy helping people. And one way I feel like I can help a lot of people is through fitness. And doing that, guys, that's why I've created Fidela Fit. No matter where your journey began from this day forward, this is your new beginning. And what I mean by that is, guys, everybody goes through something. But from the day that you get started and on, that is your new beginning. That's your new identity and that's who you are meant to become. And so Fidel Fit is going to surround a lot of things, mainly fitness. Um, so there will be like a ton of stuff and I'll get more in deep on it on the next video. But I'm really, really excited to share that news. But other than that guys, that is a full day of eating. I genuinely hope you did enjoy the video. If you're new here, hit the subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1 billion subscribers. Uh, like the video if you did enjoy it. Comment down below what you think I could do better, what you think I could fix, or what you want to see. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, other than that, guys, have an amazing day. Time to get better. Quote of the video, by the way. Quote of the video. Set goals, not limits. Let's go, baby.